how do we prevent fear from going too far? How do we know if our anxiety is justified? I am the first to admit that this fear can be taken too far. It's all contingent upon that earlier note. It's not forever. You don't have to live super below your means or stick to a relatively traditional risk averse investment strategy forever, just for as long as it takes you to accumulate enough wealth that you begin to feel a little bit more comfortable. I was having a conversation the other day with a friend about this and she said, you know, I'm very aware that I'm only one or two major mistakes away from being on the streets. And her point was that she's making great progress, but she's not in a place yet financially where taking her foot off the gas would make sense. One of the reasons people shy away from making major financial changes, like downsizing their home or car, or cutting back on discretionary spending, or picking up a little bit of extra work, is because they feel like they're committing to it for life. Unfortunately, it doesn't take that long. 18 to 24 months of intense focus and work ethic can change your financial trajectory for the rest of your life. For example, if your financial independence goal is a million dollars or roughly 25 times your annual spending, if your annual spending is around $40,000, maybe you hit the gas really hard until you accumulate $250,000 to $300,000 because by that point you have a healthy buffer and you are now well on your way to your goal and can likely begin to coast just a little bit. So maybe by the time you hit $500,000, you're able to coast even more and begin reintroducing some of the habits that you originally deemed too frivolous in your grind phase. But sleepwalking through the wealth accumulation phase, it's not likely to generate the results you want, and it'll probably make the entire process take a hell of a lot longer. By the time you've got half a million dollars in the bank in this example, you can realistically check your own fear. You can say things like, all right, even if the stock market experiences a 40% drawdown, which is likely to happen every 20 to 25 years, statistically speaking, I still have $300,000 available to me. So even those big drawdowns would not put you in a state of financial duress. To summarize, I would go pedal to the metal for the first 25% of your goal. Spend as little as possible, focus on earning more, invest as much as possible. Then I'd probably lighten up a little bit between 25 and 50%. And then by the time you're hitting 50%, I'd probably recommend a more modest approach. And this works because having 50% of your financial independence number is technically more like 75% of the way to your goal time-wise thanks to compounding. I'll link a blog post about this in the show notes.